Welcome to another Mr. James Accounting Tutorial. Today I will be covering Accounting Unit 1 2019 Paper 2 Module 1. Yes, we read what is required. Prepare the journal entries to record the transaction. So the action is for journal entries. Next we will read the body of the question. Jax Faro Incorporated reported the following amounts to the shareholders' equity section of the Statement of Financial Position at 1st January 2017, the beginning of the current fiscal year. And we are told uh, that we have one. Ten thousand preference shares authorized and five thousand issued for three seventy five. There are ten percent preference shares. The common shares twenty dollars per value, two hundred thousand. Ten thousand shares issued, five hundred thousand authorized. Contributed capital in excess of par thirty thousand. And retained uh, 1,100 and so we got 1,130,000. All right, during the year, GSI completed the following transactions concerning shareholders' equity. Okay, we take the first one, issued 1,000 shares of 10% preferred shares at 110. On 1st July 2017. All right. We'll make the general entry for that. 1st July. So since there are no power value, the cash we get would be 110,000 and then 10% preference shares. The 110,000 is uh, 1,000 multiplied by $110. And we put all of it into share capital since there is no per value. The next item is issued 2,000 common shares of $25 at, on 1st October 2017. First October. Okay, that's an easy multiplication. Two thousand by twenty-five should give us fifty thousand in cash. And the common shares are twenty dollars per value. So two thousand by twenty would give us the amount for capital forty thousand. And the remainder is paid in capital in excess of par. Uh, okay, again we have the narrative. Issue 2,000 shares at $25. Okay. Next, we declare cash dividend on the preferred shares of 25 cents per share. Sorry. That's 25% on the common shares. And we declare the preferred dividend. Okay, so we have some weekends here to do. We'll do it up here. Dividends on the preference shares would be three seventy five thousand plus around ten thousand that we issued here by right, ten percent and we'll get forty eight thousand five hundred. Then we have the twenty five cents per share on the common shares. We had ten thousand issued and we issue another two thousand here. So that's 12,000. So the common dividend would be 10,000 by plus 2,000. And we multiply by 25 cents, we get $3,000. So the total dividend would be 48,000 plus the 3,000. 48 from here, 3 from here, and we get 51,500. So we make a general entry for that. On the 
for this of December. We need to take it out of retained earnings. 51,500 by debit and retained earnings. And we credit dividends payable. We must make sure that the dividend payable, you cannot put dividend alone. You will not get the mark. Okay, you must show that it hasn't been paid yet in a liability account. Okay, and so we declare the profit dividend and a dividend of 25 cents to come and share. Okay, then we pay it on the 31st of December 2017. When we pay it, we have to knock off this here now. It's no longer payable. So we dividend, debit dividend payable with 51,500. And we will credit cash with 51,500. And that pay the cash dividend declared on 1st of December. Okay, so we will look at part B. Outline for basic rights that are associated with the ownership of a share of common stock. The four rights associated with ownership of a share of common stock. Uh, first, you can vote on selection of the board of directors. Next, you can vote on corporate matters or the business matters that the business needs to make decisions on carrying out. The share in corporate earnings through a receipt of a dividend. The share in assets upon liquidation, that is when a business is winding up, closing up shop, you are entitled to your share of the assets. And to maintain the same percentage ownership when additional shares are issued. If you have a 10% ownership in the company and they are going to uh, issue additional shares, after the issue of the additional shares, you should still have a 10% ownership. Part C. Crabtree Corporation pays cash of $450,000 for 45% of the common stock and assets of Passion Limited. For the year ended 31st December 2017, Passion Limited reported net income of $126,000 and declared and paid $50,000 in dividends to its common shareholders. In the books of Crabtree Corporation, Prepare the journal entries to account for this investment and calculate the closing balance of the investment in Passion Limited on the books of Crabtree Corporation. Okay, so first we need to make the journal entry for the investment itself. And we will debit investment in Passion Limited at $450,000 and the cash that we pay for it, we are told that we pay cash, $450,000. And it's a 45% investment in Passion Limited. Now when we are asked for journal entries, um, we should make the whole journal entry. And the narration is part of the journal entry. Okay, if we don't have this narration here, no one would be able to tell what these two entries are. Okay, next we receive a dividend. So first we have to put it in investment income by investment in Passion Limited. 22,500 and credit investment income 22,500 to record dividend income from Passion Limited. And apparently they paid it right away. So we will also debit cash 22,500 
and credit investment in Passion Limited with 22500 to record receipt of cash dividend from Passion Limited. Okay, now these two entries could have been joined into one by this one knocking off against this one here. You notice the debit and the credit is to the same account and you would have remained with the debit to cash for 22500 and investment income 22500 Okay, now the 22500 we got that by taking 45% of the 50,000 in dividends that was paid out by Passion Limited. Part 2. Calculate the closing balance of the investment in Passion Limited on the books of Crabtree Corporation. Okay. We started with an initial investment in Passion Limited of 450000 And to that, we got investment income of 22500 Right. And... Uh, then we receive the cash dividend for 22500 here, right? So the balance at 31st December 2017 should be $450,000. Part D, there's three reasonable assurances that should be provided by a dollar company control. The three reasonable assurances of internal control. One, safeguarding of assets. Two, enhancing the accuracy of the accounting record. And three, ensuring adherence to management policy. Explain how revenues are reported on the income statements on the both the cash basis of accounting and the accrual basis of accounting. And give one example of each. We have cash and accrual basis, revenue reporting. The first are the accrual basis. Revenues are reported when the sale is made, regardless of when the cash payment is received. For example, for, for services provided, Revenue is reported immediately, the service is provided, but payment can take place before or later. Then we have the cash basis. Revenues are reported when the cash payment is received, not when the sale is made. For example, the sale of goods and credit today will be reported when the customer pays at a later date. 